Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create an interactive chart and change the data series of that chart on mouse over event. Though there is no mouse over event in Visual Basic application, so to perform this activity, we will use an alternate uh, method to simulate the mouse over event. And after that, we can easily uh, change the series of chart on a mouse over like the value mentioned in a particular cell so let's move to excel window and see the demo file so this is the demo file where i have already created a, a line chart and currently it's showing the west uh, the sales percentage trend for west from jan to december so let's move to the raw data so this is the raw data where uh, this is the fictitious data basically where a uh, journal sales performance data have been mentioned from starting from jan to december okay so north south east and west and these are the sales performance the random values okay and this particular chart has been created basis on the this uh, this raw data okay so as of now it's showing the west sales percentage trend and suppose we just want to change uh, from west to north or maybe east or west uh, south so here I have provided uh, four different uh, cell value that is the June uh, name North, South, East and West and whenever you over your mouse on any of the zone like suppose currently it's showing West and let me hover my uh, my mouse on East so now it has started showing the, the chart for East let's move for South, for West, uh, for North, East so this is really very easy and you know uh, interesting okay so this particular chart is uh, changing its value or series basis on uh, the mouse over okay and this uh, this is very very easy and if you will apply this uh, these tips in your dashboard then it will be very interesting and you can show uh, a lot of information on a single chart because you do not need to create a different chart uh, for each and every zone or maybe some other categories which you are using you just create a chart and mention the categories name over here and user will over his or her mouse on that particular category and it will start showing the information of the trend on line chart or maybe column chart okay so let's create a new excel file and save this file maybe practice and make sure the extension should be dot xlsm click on save now we need two different work sheets over here so let's add it raw data raw data okay and this should be interactive chart let's move to the raw data sheet let's uh, move to the demo file and in raw data let's copy the entire data set press ctrl c and just paste over here okay let's move to view tab and untick the grid lines same let's move to interactive chart go to view and untick the grid lines so uh, before making uh, the chart we just need to prepare uh, some additional you know raw data basically to support raw data so that we can create the chart basis on that so let's copy the 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 two rows basically june and north so just copy press ctrl c and paste over here Let's keep north as it is and change this uh, number so let's apply the vlookup formula so vlookup and this is the lookup value press uh, like f4 to freeze the value the lookup value basically and press comma and now we need to give the reference in the table array so this uh, this is the table array starting from a2 to m6 now we need to free this so press f4 to free this comma uh, press 2 and then 0 let's uh, press 
control r to fill the same formula now we need to change the reference the column index number that should be three and that would be 13 so we can replace the column index uh, number with row function as well but i do not want to make it complicated because our focus is only to uh, mouse over events so let's use the vlookup simple vlookup formula so now you can see that it has started showing on the north value let's change it to south now it is showing the value for south okay let's uh, create a label over here so that should be equal to this south and then ampersand hyphen sales percentage trend so now our support data is ready let's select this data starting from a10 to m 11 go to insert and in charts let's click on line and select this one line with markers okay let's let's quickly format this chart so i have already created a template for that so let's right click on that and change chart type and just Click on template so we have a lot of template so I'm just going to apply this one this click on ok so now our chart is ready let's press this chart select this chart press ctrl X and move this chart over here now we need to give the uh, title so insert so we are not going to apply this title so let's insert text box and just increase the width and the height of this text. okay just fill it with this maybe format shape and right click just select this select in form formula bar press enter and go to raw data sheet and give the reference of a9 okay change the font color to white and that should be bold increase the size to 14 okay we have done with the chart let's move to visual basic window so to do that just click on developer tab and here click on visual basic application button so visual basic here okay so now we can see that this is the practice.xlsm uh, the project go to insert and insert a module now let's uh, declare a function so function here mouse mouse over and here uh, we will get a value from user so str as a string and just let's start checking with condition so if shoots raw data so here you can see that uh, this is the raw data sheets raw data dot range and what we need to check over here so let's move to excel the practice file uh, this is the practice file here raw data so we need to validate this one so a11 visual basic so range a11 is equal to st sorry dot value is equal to str then exit function okay otherwise if str and the range 11 is not the same so we need to change the series okay so let's copy this this line of code 
maybe starting from shoots this one and this so now it's done let's move to excel window and here let's start creating so let's mention north south east and west over here in cell value so let's explain this column a little bit more and just uh, start putting a formula over here so in each first would be north and here if error and in the place of value we will apply hyperlink and as we have already uh, defined a formula so that is mouse over okay and in mouse over uh, we will pass a parameter that is the zone name so i know north north and there is no friendly name so if error then blank so this is for north let's make it center middle bold increase the font size a little bit more i think fill with different color let's copy this south east and west okay let's so north should be south and here the value should be south okay and this should be east and again the parameter value should be east and this should be the west the last zone and here the parameter for the user defined function should be west okay so as we have already defined the uh, function that is mouse hover so let's check it whether it's changing so west east south and north so this is done so the logic is very simple uh, what we are doing here we have applied the hyperlink function the excel function and in hyperlink function we are calling the user defined function that is mouse over and in mouse over what we are doing so we are replacing the value the selection value basically uh, here in no in this particular cell that is a11 so let me show you so here i am hovering my mouse on south okay so now it has started uh, let me mouse south and now it has started showing for south let's move to raw data and now you can see that here the south has been uh, replaced and this is happening due to the function which we have defined in our visual basic window that is mouse over and as we have already applied the vlookup so all the values for south are reflecting and the same the data labels like the chart headers basically is basis on the south the zone here so this is very very simple trick and you can apply this trick uh, in your dashboard hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching please like share subscribe and comment have a great day bye bye